Hello everyone, Ronis with it another tutorial and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to color grade this image and we are going to be doing this color grading together and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and if at all you learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and drop a comment in the comment section so let's kick in and start color, grade, color grading this image we want it to look from this uh, to look like this so that's the image before and after so it is the look we are going to go in for exactly so we're just going to turn this off so that we can work onto this image and you can as you can see i already did the skin retouching on this very image you can see before and after so i want color grade it to look like this so you're just going to be learning about that very thing in this tutorial so let's first of all i come right here and you're going to come to the adjustments right here and create a black and white adjustment layer then you're going to come right to the blending mode and change it from normal. You're just going to click multiply. And you're also going to close this right here. Then you're going to change the opacity to around. You're just going to drop it down because the image is really looking so, so dark. So you're just going to turn this down uh, to around. You're going to go with around 30%. And you can see the progress so far for the image. Then you're also going to create a black and red, but this time around we want to desaturate this image. So we are just going to come and we are going to desaturate this image like this. Come to black and white and it is going to turn into black and white. So just come and close this and just come the opacity and knock it down. You're going to go for around 10% so you can see as a before and after. We have just reduced on the number of color uh, or the amount of color in the image. Then you're also going to come right to... Uh, black and white still and you're going to come and create that and change the blending mode from normal and change it to overlay like this and as you can see the image is looking really dark so we are just going to come and we're going to knock down the opacity so i think at 22 we are fine so you can see a before and after for the just as uh, the black and white adjustments onto this image so right now what we want to do we want to come into the selective color option and under selective color you're just going to come right down here and you're going to uh, choose selective color so under selective color we have so many options so you're going to uh, yours is going to look exactly like this then you're going to come under the reds and want to reduce on the amount of magentas in the reds yeah we just want to so let's just increase the magentas in the reds for this case so you're just going to go with three for this because we want the magentas in the image to really uh, really pop a little bit so after doing so we are going to come under the yellows like this so we are just following this order the way these are just going down so you're going to come the yellows next and they're going to drop the magentas to around let's go with negative six and they're going to come under the yellows because the image is too warm and they're just going to knock it down to around uh, negative 24 okay let's go with negative 23 and after we have done so we're going to come under the magentas uh, because this model has some kind of purpose right here so we want to uh, just intensify uh, the magentas or the purple in this very image so we're just going to go with around let's go with around 30 and we're going to come to uh, the yellows and you're going to knock them uh, to also pump them up to around uh, 71 uh, for this image so let's just I think uh, that looks fine and okay so let's uh, take it uh, more so like a 70, uh, 70 sorry then you're going to come the blacks and they're also going to intensify the blacks to around uh, 9 like that you can see what this has done to the image then you're going to come under the whites now and you're going to play around with them so you're going to go with the yellows and first of all knock uh, it up to around 10 because let's go with 10 then you're going to come the blacks and we want to first of all uh, darken the whites somehow you can see uh, what this does so you're just going to darken the whites uh, in this image to around 2 so depending on your liking, you can just play around with these sliders. Then you are going to, first of all, I think let's go with two. I think four is too much for my liking. 
So let's just type in tool like this. Then after doing so, we're just going to come under the, uh, sorry, we are going to come under the science and you're going to knock it down to uh, negative six, like that. Then you're going to come under the blacks finally for the selective color and you're going to knock down the yellows in the blacks to negative three. And you're going to come under the blacks and you're going to just pump uh, the blacks up slightly to around two. I think that is fine. So if at all I will open the selective color and turn it on and off, you can see what we have just done for the selective color. And I think there is a difference in our image. Then what we are going to do basically, we are going to come under the vibrance and just reduce on uh, the vibrant nature in the image. So we are just going to come right here and look for vibrance and saturation and we are going to knock it down to around negative 5. So you can see the before and after for the image because we just kind of want to mute uh, the warm tones in the image. And after we have done so, it is time to open our camera raw filter in Photoshop. So we want to create a stamp visible layer for all we have done uh, on this image. And what we are going to do, we are just going to create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift control, uh, shift alternate control E on the keyboard or shift alternate command E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. And you're going to first of all get a backup for the stamp visible layer by hitting control or command just so that we can control the values we may do in the camera raw filter. So come right here to filter and come to camera raw filter and after doing so uh, this is our camera raw interface. First of all we are going to go all the way up to uh, the basic adjustments right here. So what we are going to be doing, we are going to uh, put this tint to around two here like that. And we are going to come right down to the clarity of this image and we are going to add a little bit of clarity into this image to add some kind of sharpness to this image. And we are going to go to the dehaze and we are just going to knock it up slightly. Uh, let's go with two. So I, I think that looks really fine. Then after we are going to go all the way down to the uh, hue and saturation panel. So this is the default for the HSL panel. And remember, most times the skin tones are embedded in these three colors, the reds, the oranges, and the yellows. And what we are going to do, we are going to play around with these right now. So we are going to first of all come under the red channel and we are going to uh, hue the reds to around negative six for this image. Then you're going to come under the oranges and you're going to also hew them down to around uh, two, yeah, plus two. Then plus, uh, we're going to go the uh, yellows in this image and we want to move them towards the green side so that they can mute the number of yellows or the amount of yellows in the image. Then after we're going to go right into the saturation so this is the saturation and remember we want to reduce on the amount of uh, the oranges and the reds in this image so we're going to just knock down the reds in the image to around 10 and also knock down the yellows sorry the oranges uh, to around 9 like that then we are going to now come under the luminous and play around with these colors so come under the luminous is basically uh, the lightness or darkness of a given color. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to come under the oranges and we're going to uh, kind of mute down this image to around negative 37. So let's move this to around uh, negative 37 to uh, mute the amount of the oranges in the image or to darken and give it uh, a more kind of melanin kind of skin tone for this model. And what we're going to do next, we're going to come under under the yellows right now, under the saturation or the luminous, sorry. And they're also going to uh, increase on the lightness uh, so that this highlight is really bright. So you're just going to go and move this slider to around 12 for this image. And they're also going to come under the purples because uh, we have this kind of purple kind of feel. And you're going to uh, move the purples or the purple slider to around negative we're just going to reduce on the purpose in the image to around negative six. And we're going to 
uh, darken also the magentas because we want to darken this because it is kind of uh, looking really too much for my liking so you're just going to come and you're going to reduce this to around uh, negative 20 and you can see it has really darkened and the lipstick is kind of blending and matching with the skin tones after we have done so we're just going to come right down to the calibration panel and under this uh, we are going to first of all come under the reds and we are going to just increase on the amount of reds in the hues towards the orange side and we want to reduce on the amount of uh, reds in the total image or in the whole image to around negative 2 then what we are going to be doing uh, we are going to also come to the green channel and we are going to intensify on uh, the amount of uh, sorry amount of blues in the greens so we are basically going to uh, move the greens towards the blue side of the image so you're just going to go with around seven for this image and they're also going to reduce on the saturation of the greens in this image to around negative uh, let's go with negative 14 so let's go with 15 i think this looks are uh, really fine and the colors are really harmonized so we want to come finally to uh, the blue primaries and you're going to uh, just move them like towards uh, the purple side to around uh, let's go with nine for this uh, image and they're just going to turn down the saturation a little bit to around uh, negative two you can see the image uh, is now looking really nice harmonized and everything is not shouting and is not warm but finally what we would love to do we would love to whiten the eyes of the model to give these eyes a more catchy and more uh, awesome attraction to the person who's going to be looking at this very image. So you're just going to come right above here and you're going to first of all zoom into the eyes by hitting Ctrl or Command Plus on the keyboard to zoom and get more emphasis on the eyes of the model. Then you're going to come under the adjustment brush. Remember we have some color in the eyes of the model so come and select your adjustment brush tool and these are the settings we have for the adjustment brush tool we are going to first of all uh, knock down the temperatures because we have yellows in the eyes so we are just going to move uh, towards the opposite side of the yellows in this very image uh, we are going to go with around negative 20 and the tint to around let's go with uh, 59 and we're going to come, uh, we are going to leave all these uh, at their defaults and we are going to reduce on the amount of colors in the adjustment brush tool so that when, when we paint it is going to apply the settings we have just put on it so you're just going to come the saturation and we're going to remove a color not all the way but just uh, towards 60 percent or 61 and just paint over only and only uh, the white area of the eye to as to give it a more popping kind of look or feel uh, added to it you can see what we are doing right now so you can see uh, the eyes are really now turning to look really white so you have to zoom out and see if at all uh, it is too much so that you can come right back up like this and uh, turn down or reduce on the uh, temperature of the whiteness of the eyes and move it towards uh, the warm side so after you have done all that and you feel like you're okay with it just come and hit ok on the keyboard so you can see we have just basically uh, graded this image to look really nice and more professional and you can let me put all this we have done in a group so select both layers or all of the la layers by hitting shift key and selecting on all of them and hitting ctrl or command g on the keyboard and you're going to name that uh, color grade uh, color grade maybe tutorial like this so let's see what all we have done for this image so basically this is the image before and after before after i hope you guys can uh, all really love this very image and if at all you would love because I want to test and see if I told you guys watch this tutorial until the end. And if I told you guys would love to 
uh, get maybe a free action for retouching this image or how we got these beautiful colors let me know down in the comments of this very video and i'll be able to provide you guys with uh, the action for color grading this image and that action is going to comprise of uh, the photoshop action and the camera action so that when you combine all of them you'll be able to get uh, these beautiful colors on your image so it is more of a giveaway and thank you guys for watching and if at all you learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to practice and see how you can color grade and get better colors out of your images i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and don't forget to keep creating